In today's video, it's Metal Flake and Logo. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part three on how to paint a fiberglass mini bonnet. If you're new to my channel and you've just stumbled across this video, I'd advise you to watch part one and part two, and then you'll get the gist of where we are moving on to part three. If you're a die-hard fan and you're back for more, you'll know exactly where we are and you can just follow straight on and you'll get to grips with where we are on this piece now. So I've got an array of things in front of me here and I'm just going to talk you through some of these products that we're going to use today to get these two simple pieces down. When you see it at the end of this video, they're quite simple two pieces, but these are the products you'll need to get this job done. So gun-wise, spray gun-wise, for getting any big coverage down, we're going to use the Iwata Impact Junior. It's a mini jet gun, and this will be perfect for dropping sort of a bit bigger coverage down, so we can use that one. We've also got the PS290 by Creos. This is a trigger control airbrush. You have got a spot cap and you also get a fan cap with this so you can get like a two inch to three inch fan pattern. So it's a great brush for a bit of detail and dropping a bit of coverage down so we can use this one today. Next to that, we've got the Iwata Eclipse. Now, as you can see, we've got the Flake King 500 fitted to the front of this. There are videos on the channel on the Flake King full review on their setups, guns and things like that if you want to click over and have a look at that. So we're going to be dropping a little bit of metal flake. We've got some silver fine metal flake we're going to do today and I'll show you the stages of that as we crack on with this video. Tapes, we've got a standard two inch tape, inch tape and I'm using the J-Tape 3mm fine line to fine line out the bonnet stripe again. The paints that we're using today is going to be, we're using a surface bind up by Flake King, it's the FK50, and this will be incorporated with the metal flake. You'll see them stages later on. We've got some Candid Red, Ruby Red, which is this one, by Specialist Paints. If you're looking at buying some Candy Red from Specialist Paints, this one's the Candy Concentrate and you will need their D thinner to go with it. You can't mix it with a 2K thinner or any other thinner that you've got. You have to use their brand to go with their paint scheme. I have tried other thinners in the past and it absolutely destroyed the candy. But that was when I first started out and I just, oh, I want some candy when I brought it. So just have a good check on what you're buying and what scheme will mix with another scheme because some paints don't like to sit on top of each other. I usually stick to solvent on my bases and stick to one solvent brand and work them solvents up. And then when it comes to airbrushing, it's always water-based acrylics. Then I do my layers on water-based acrylics and then sealing it down will be your 2K gloss, your clear coats over the top of that. But the brands that I use, I know how they're intermix and I know how they lay on top of each other and things like that. That's why I always stick to the ones you'll see in my videos because I know they work and there's no issues or problems in the future with them. So they're the bits we're gonna be using. We've got some paper for masking out. I've also got some vinyl mask. This is just an off cut piece I've left over. So we can use that for the text. I can go over that way or I can use transfer paper and we can trace across to this, chop it out and get the text in. So they're all the bits we're using today to get these little projects done on this, on this mini bonnet today. I'll drop you in some time lapses. I'll do some live chatting while I'm spraying so you can see it first hand with what's going on instead of a speed up time lapse and it just goes ding and it's all complete. So yeah, let's crack on guys. I'm gonna paint some coffee, wake up a bit because it's really early and I'll see you in the first stage. See you in a bit. Right guys, I've cut out the text. I basically used some transfer tape, pulled the logo up, dropped the transfer tape onto the laptop screen, 
nice and easy and you're just tracing across if you've not got a cutter plotter like i've not got you can do it this way it's basically old school tracing technique so we've got the text all sized up and cut out we've got the internal part of the lettering and we've got that piece that we're going to use we've got the austin cooper badge sized up and cut out i've got some tracing paper there as well so when it comes to dropping the actual text across i'll scribble on the back of that in pencil place that on the white of the bonnet and i can just trace through and then we can airbrush all these pieces on so it's a little bit backwards way of doing it if you've got a cutter plotter it'd be like job done bang you've got two stencils made nice and easy but i've not got one so that's the old school way you can do it this way it works i've done it this way for years and i'm quite quick at it so at the minute it doesn't bother me cutting it out and doing that so the next stage on this will be to offer all these pieces up we're going to get some fine line done on the bonnet stripe so i'll chuck you in a time lapse for that and then when it comes to the painting i'll do a live bit where i'm filming and i'll talk you through bits along the way so i'll get set up see you in the time lapse extractor going I've got some of the candid ruby red mixed up a little bit and we've dropped that in the PS290 with the spot cap on and in that last time now you see me just mask out two pin lines now we're going to go in with the candy red and just put two candy stripes in this nice and simple just build the layers up as it's candy, it's transparent, so you just build it up to the darkness that you want, so nice and easy. Air pressure is running about 25 30 psi. And just a nice light pass. As this is solvent, it dries quite quick, so a little pass of the air over the top just helps it cure down a little bit faster in between the coats. not probably picking this up but that pearl that's underneath looks really nice now with that candy over the top that pearl I can see it just glistening underneath so that's quite nice so that's a couple of about two or three passes of light on this and I think that'll do for the candy red so that's that stage nice and simple mask out a couple of lines we'll let that go off before we pull the masking off and then we can move on to the next stage we'll mask the lines out drop a bit of the fk50 down and we'll do a light metal flake over the top of that pearl and then we can go back in with the text back in with the candy red and then we can do the candy red italian job logo down there so i'll see you in the next step right i've masked that corner of the bonnet off so we can get no overspray on this now and the next stage is what I've done I've demasked that pin line and where that pin line is I've refine lined over that and covered the red pin line up so as you can see there there's the pin line Just drop that over the top like that a little bit of masking again on top of that pin line nice and simple like that and now we're ready to drop a coat of the FK50 on there for the metal flake now the gun that I've set up for the FK50 is this one my water black flash I use this for the primer as the, the FK50 is quite thick 
you can spray through this gun a lot easier than using the Impact Junior because that's a, a 0 0.1 setup in that, so that's quite a small needle nozzle setup. So we can drop a wet coat on here and then I can move on to the stages of the metal plate. a little talk through that last stage we drop the pin lines down and we're masking across so we have the, the red candy pin line and then I mask that pin line off I dropped a wet coat of the FK50 down and then when I metal flaked it I dropped the pressure right down on the Eclipse with the FK500 and turned that pressure right down and basically dusted a coat from about a foot and a half away from the actual wet part of the panel and just dusted above and let the metal flake nicely gently drop and land so it gave it a nice even coat I didn't want to go full flake on it I wanted to have a little bit of gap so there's the gaps for the pearl underneath so that's had like one soft coat of metal flake which is silver fine metal flake on there. I let that cure down for a minute and then I give it a wet coat of the FK50 over the top of the metal flake just to seal that down and then went in with the air on the spray gun and just blew off any loose bits of flake that was sitting that wasn't actually bonded to the FK50, blew them away from the panel, let that cure down and then I've centralised the Italian job stencil that we cut out in the centre on top of the metal flake so you've got a nice surface with the FK50 for this to stick to. So we've got that on, I've masked this piece out and now we're going to go in with the candy red. We're going to candy red all this to match the colour of the candy on the pin line. Then we'll remove this I'll get the opposite part of the stencil, put them over the tops of these letters and then we'll do a drop shadow on that so that will make that pop out. So I'll see you in the next step, you'll see me just putting the candy down on this and it'll be the same process as the pin lines, just nice and light, build the coat so you get the desired colour that you're after. Yeah, let's crack on guys and I'll see you in the next stage. Right, I'll give you a little talk through. You see in that last time lapse, we put the stencil down and we dropped the candy red over. So we've got the Italian job in candy red. That was about three or four coats just to match up this pin line that we put the pin line in, just to match the color across. Now the next stage on this is to get the opposite part of the text, which will be this piece and I'll lay all the text over the top of these letters all the way down and then I'm going to do a transparent black and then just do a drop shadow round the letters and then that will just make that pop up a bit and then that piece will be finished and I can demask it then and then we can start moving on to the Cooper logo and the S badge on the front and we'll move on to that stage. So I'll see you in the next time lapse. And there you go, that's that bit finished. Now just demask that. You just get a white paint pen. And now we'll just highlight the top edges. And there you go, that bit's finished. So that's the lettering done. Nicely pops off the panel, and that will look really, really nice. Once this is clear coated, that metallic and that metal flake will just pop. So now we can move on to the next stage and we can start demasking this, and then I'll take you through the stages of dropping the logo on the front. 
and then we'll wrap this one up guys. there's the finished Austin Cooper badge. I'll give you a little chat and how I did it. Cut it out on transfer tape, laid it on the top as you've seen in that time lapse. I sprayed some full frozen white in and then I basically went in with a piece of tracing paper <clears throat> with the Cooper logo on. I penciled on the back of the tracing paper, put that to the front and then just penciled over which gave me a pencil outline and then work from that with a transparent black Posca paint pens. We use the Pocket Graphics by Scott McKay for some of the straight edges. A scalpel at the end just to put some nice little sharp highlights in where they needed to go. And that's how it's come out guys. So that's that bit complete. You've seen the stages of that. So that's all in now. The airbrush that I used to drop the logo in was the PS270 by Creos. It's a 0.2, brilliant for detail and that just nipped that in the bud there for us, job done. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope you can join me in the next episode, which will be part four. We'll be doing the portrait, Michael Caine, and then we'll be going through the clear coat stages and I can take you through all the clear coat, the gun, the setup, the clear that I'm gonna use and the application on how to do it. So yeah, I'll see you lot in the next one. Thanks for watching.